Hi guys, my name is Scott Tracy and I wrote a book called Witch Eyes that comes out September 8th with Flux and today I'm talking to you about LGBT fiction and characters in children's literature. Right off the bat I have to apologize for the hair. It's the middle of summer and it's humid so it just keeps getting bigger and curlier and I can't... One of the first things I want to talk about is kind of the misnomer that when you talk about something as gay fiction it only involves two types of stories, and that is either it's a coming-of-age story where a character comes to terms with their sexuality, or it's an adversity story where a community is coming to terms with a character's sexuality. And I really think that there is a third option that we're starting to see more and more of, which is stories where characters are gay, but that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is, you know, fantastic adventures involving mermaids and treasure maps or killing I was going to say puppies, and we, we don't kill puppies in YA. All three types of stories are important. Adversity storylines are always important because we live in a world where gay bullying is a huge issue. I think it's important to have a mix of all three because you're going to reach people at different points in their life, and you're going to reach people that might not need the coming out book but might be experiencing bullying or might know someone that's being bullied. And I think it's also important to have these books for, not just for gay kids, but for everybody because some of these issues are universal. Bullying happens to a lot of kids, whether you're gay, straight, you know, vampire, werewolf, you're bullied. Well, probably not vampires and werewolves. Werewolves are probably bullies, though, I would think. Now, talking about characters, um, I think one of the first things is I've seen people say I would write a gay character, but I don't feel I could do them justice. And I think that's a really honest belief because the worst thing you could possibly have is a bad representation. Um, every time you see like a stereotyped, cliched gay character, that's all that some people see. We have cliches for a reason, but especially in the gay community, there is such a width of personalities and types and you know, beliefs that you can't marginalize it down to one specific, like, this is what a gay person is. So, like, I don't feel that there should be a gay character in every book. Because, yes, every, there are gay people everywhere. However, that's not a fit for every book, and it doesn't necessarily need to be there for every book. Because if you just start throwing things in, it starts to feel formulaic. Like, if I'm going to write a YA novel, I need to have a gay character on the side. And that becomes, you stop doing it because the character is gay and you start doing it because it's like a checklist, something that you need to check off. So I think it's more important to have fully rounded characters than it is to have a character whose one main defining trait is their sexuality. And stereotypes can be done, like you can have the gay best friend, you can have the sassy gay character. The, I'm not saying avoid these, I'm saying that these types of characters have more to them than just that one aspect. And that's true for any character, really. Nobody wants to feel talked down to. So I think it's important to see different types of gay characters, not just the gay friend or, you know, having a gay sibling or gay parents, which I think is a really fascinating kind of thing to look at in YA. And I think having all these different kinds of characters is important because it normalizes something that is normal. So yeah, uh, that's what I have for you guys. I hope it helped you with your writing. Um, I hope it was somewhat informative and I wasn't too rambly. Um, and good luck. Bye.